What's up guys? Today we're going to be hiking segment number three of the Colorado Trail. For a full hike review and more information about segment three of the Colorado Trail, go ahead and check the link below. Uh, for a previous video on segment two and one, you can check the playlist I have on my channel or I'll put the links below as well. Uh, so segment number three is just over uh, 13 miles with about 1900 feet of elevation gain. So um, definitely uh, not too terrible in terms of gain, some rollers. Um, it's obviously dog friendly because every segment except number one is dog friendly. Late October, there's some lingering snow, but it's pretty warm today. So don't think it's gonna be a huge factor, but uh, yeah, excited to tackle another segment and let's go get after it. Stopping to take a little lunch break. I know it's a weird thing to kind of start the video with, but since we hiked uh, segment two before this, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. We've been hiking for like five, six hours, so we're pretty hungry. Jackie's back there. Kuno's laying in the snow in heaven. She's ignoring me because I'm filming. Two seconds ago before I started, she was looking right at me. Pretty evident, but this is a road crossing and there's the car and the trail continues right across here. So unlike segment two where camping spots were a bit tricky to find, on this one they're all over the place. So whether you're hiking a long day going from two to three or I don't know just need something early on in three, there's camping options like all over the first bit of this. There's a little overlook here a little over a mile in. We'll just peek through the trees here. 99% sure that's uh, Mount Bierstadt over there or Mount Evans. Not sure which one. Uh, but yeah, first really pretty solid uh, views up here. Even though we're only a couple miles into uh, segment three here, but it just has a totally different feel than segment two did. It's uh, definitely a much heavier day use area, specifically with mountain bikers, it seems like. Um, we've seen more people in the first hour, uh, half hour, whatever, of hiking than we did in the previous five. So definitely uh, not as secluded as segment two. Another note, is that uh, it seems to be starting off pretty flat here, which leads me to believe that we're gonna have a pretty good climb at some point uh, this afternoon. Juno loves the snow. She hates looking at the camera. Literally just started filming, looks away. Oh, there she is. This beast in her natural element. In terms of water, we've crossed uh, maybe like three or four little streams like this one. And uh, yeah, for us, we don't really need it, but Seems like these are pretty steady year round. Uh, in the spring, it might be a good idea to uh, have some waterproof or at least water resistant boots for this kind of stuff. Uh, Cause it looks like it can get pretty wet in this uh, section. About three and a quarter miles in and another really obvious trail continuation sign. So it's just about three o'clock in the afternoon of uh, segment two and three of the Colorado Trail in one day and I think it's getting to be a little bit much for Jackie. Uh, she seems to be hitting a wall a bit. She's quite a bit behind me now so we're just waiting to catch up to her. Luckily she'd normally be pretty angry about this kind of stuff because uh, she's not an outdoor cat all the time but she was the one who suggested do both in the same day so I'm off the hook. Even Juno's laying down in the snow so not a great sign when we have about 10 miles to go still. Jackie's still hanging in there even though she's getting 
pretty tired. Even though I should never admit it. I'll tell you what, I'm not really into mountain biking, but if I was, this would be a really sick segment or just trail in general to a mountain bike. Just over uh, five miles in, segment three, Colorado Trail. Man, it's uh, it's been kind of monotonous, like pretty boring. This segment's so far, far worse than the last one. Uh, so in those five miles, we picked up just over 600 feet of elevation gain, which leaves us about 1,300 feet to gain in the last uh, eight miles or so. So not bad. Uh, from what I understand, the trail is going to go down a bit now and then uh, start its elevation gain right around eight miles and then continue all the way to the finish at 13. Not much views to speak of, but still, like I said earlier, ton of camping options. And uh, yeah, my feet are pretty struggle bus right now. I did a 20 mile run yesterday for uh, my Ironman training. My legs are fine, but my feet are just like, no bueno. So uh, actually walking on this bit of snow here it's quite nice because it gives them a little less friction and a little more cushion. Just over 5.5 miles in, another trail junction. This one might be a little harder to make out, so I want to call attention to it. Uh, the sign is really deceiving, but it says straight, so basically you're going to take a left here. So you'll approach the sign like this and just uh, bear left. Yet another fork in the road. Again, you're going to bang a right. Earlier in the week, we got a pretty big snowstorm. At home, we got like 16 inches. Looks like here, they got quite a bit less. I was a little worried when we started our day, how much snow would be on the trail, especially as we got into segment three more, which is obviously what this video is about. Uh, and luckily, as you can kind of see here, it's been a steady kind of mix of this all day. And uh, as you might be able to tell too, there's been a couple mountain bikes on here, so that might have helped kind of melt some of this a bit faster. But so far, like this just kind of slushy stuff here is the extent of what we've had to deal with, at least in segment three. Segment two, which is obviously a different video, uh, there's some like sugar snow that we're hiking through for a bit, but it seems like out here it's either melted fast or they didn't get that much. Sun's uh, dipped down out of this valley. Holy shit, got a lot colder real quick. Some may be asking, don't you have more layers? The answer is definitely. Do I want to stop and take them out? Not right now, I'm gonna let myself suffer a bit more. Great source of water here. Obviously year round, Buffalo Creek. Now that you've crossed a creek, couple roads. We're about eight, eight miles in and this is where your last big climb of the segment starts and you basically have about a thousand feet a little bit a little bit over to gain from here until the final 12 so a steady uphill for about four miles now so brace yourself for that. Not much of a view but probably some of the last landscape aerial views you'll get today it's because we're running out of sunlight quickly we just hit the nine mile marker and uh yeah i'm just dead elevation gain isn't really bad but my legs are just noodles my feet are killing me and i gotta show you this because it's pretty damn funny juno's even checked out she keeps either sitting or full-blown just laying down. She's so tired. Come on, Papa. Let's go. Back on the road. All right. This is just... What are we? Two and a half miles from the end. So 
about 9.6, 9.7. And uh, yeah, there's a forest road back there. And this is your last major junction. There's still a pretty good climb ahead, but for the most part, it should be smooth sailing. And I think everybody, including Juno, is happy about that. Light is fading very, very quickly here. So uh, I'll check in at the end of the segment, but I just wanted to give a couple of notes while my brain still has any kind of juice left. Uh, yeah, this is like a pretty boring segment, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, so if you're looking to just do a day hike, I don't know if I'd recommend this one. Like be a cool mountain bike for sure. Cause there's no one here and it's like nice rolling terrain, but yeah, not much in the form of views, very monotonous, very, very monotonous. But yeah, I mean, I apologize. This video was kind of boring, but there's just not really a lot doing on segment three of the Colorado trail. So if you're through hiking, I guess get excited for the fourth one. Cause I've heard that's good. And if you're looking for a day hike, maybe stick to segment number two. Oh my God. Okay. Done with segment three. Ended up being about a half mile longer. So like 12.6, uh, I'm just dead. I'm going to cut this video short before I say things that stay on the internet forever. So for a full hike review of segment number three of the Colorado trail, check the link below. Good God. Was this too much of a long day? Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Please subscribe not to miss any future hike content.